Hey, I'm Chris Troy, host of St. Clair County Reese's Moment in History, and I'm standing at 1600 Washington Avenue in Port Huron. Now, Edward Goodrich Atchison was raised in the coal fields of southwest Pennsylvania. He left school at the age of 16 to help support his family after his father had died. In 1880, he had the courage to attempt to sell a battery of his own invention to Thomas Edison and wound up working for Edison at his research lab in Menlo Park, New Jersey. After a year of employment with Edison, Atchison went to Europe to install the electric dynamo systems in the Hotel de Villa in Anthrop and La Scala in Milan. Upon hearing the news, Edison fired him in 1884. In 1891, he obtained the use of an electric generating plant of considerable power and tried to electric heat and impregnate clay with carbon. The result was some shiny specks of a crystalline substance which he thought had value as an abrasive. It was actually silicone carbonate, which he called carbonium. In 1894, he established a carbonium company in Malakahala City, Pennsylvania, to produce grinding wheels, whetstones, knife sharpeners, and powdered abrasives. Atchison also owned an electrochemical company in Niagara Falls, New York, in 1895. It was here that he discovered artificial graphite that quickly became commercialized. The following year, Atchison moved his artificial graphite company from New York to Port Huron at the suggestion of his now began friend, Thomas Elva Edison. Many of Atchison's original companies live on today, often subsidiaries of varieties corporations, including St. Gobian Corporation, Graph Tech International, and Atchison Industries. For Moment in History Extra, I am Chris Troy, reminding you all that history lives in all of us.